By this point, you should have formatted your document to add uh, H1 tags to the headers as well as paragraph tags so that in the end, when rendered in a browser, it looks similar to this. Now, if you've been doing this using uh, Notepad or uh, text edit, I think you may have seen that it's a, a little bit clunky. I think, uh, I mean, as far as my complaint with WordPad would simply be that the text is just black and white like this, and there's not much, it, it's hard to see what you're actually doing. I mean, if you're getting deep into some of this programming, uh, it, it'd be a bit harder to see than this. Um, if you've been working on the Mac with text edit, what you may have noticed is right now what I've been doing, or at least in the past couple of videos, is I've created the text file, I've made the edits in there, I uploaded it to the server, and then on the server I renamed it index.html. Um, some of you may have gone and renamed it index.html like so on your computer locally. Seen, probably saw this message use .html and when you double clicked on it okay well in the browser it renders the way it's supposed to and then when you actually put it in text edit it's oh well, what's going on now because it's an HTML file even text edit is rendering it with some kind of default style and then you gotta go into and make it plain text and anyway and now you lost a whole bunch of your code yeah, I guess the point being is is that although you can make edits in something like text edit or Notepad, you could find that it kind of trips you up in certain respects. It doesn't act the way its default behavior, the way it was programmed, doesn't necessarily act the way you want it to act. And because you know, in all honesty, its its primary purpose is not to be a uh, a text e uh, a web editor. Uh, it's supposed to be just a plain text editor both of them so what I want to do now is just kind of step it up a notch you know I, I'm not gonna fully jump in into Dreamweaver and a WYSIWYG uh, editor I just want a basically a better text editor or code editor and there's a lot of options out there so by no means are the two that I'm going to show you the best or the only two but they're the ones that I'm most familiar with and I think they're pretty good. If you're on the PC, I would suggest looking at Notepad++, which you could find at the following URL, notepad-plus-plus.org. Uh, you'll see one of the main differences versus the Notepad that comes with Windows is that this one actually color codes, color, color codes the code. Um, so that way it's easier to see it. I mean just an example of that is uh, when we look at the code through Safari's web browser, Safari's view source, I went to view developer uh, view source. I'm already in there, that's why it's grayed out. We see how stuff is in different colors, right? sort of like that and it just makes it makes for uh, for viewing the code a bit easier but by the way if you notice even all this although this is more complicated than you may know f in the end it's still HTML that you know if we look at this tag over here it says or here's a better one we have li at the beginning just like we have P and H and then at the very end it's closed so if you kind of keep an eye on code on the web, you'll see the same kind of pattern in, in any code, no matter how sophisticated it looks. Um, anyway, the same way this is color coded, Notepad will color code stuff for you. Uh, and this is good for Windows programs. Now, if you're on the Mac, a great app that I particularly like is Text Wrangler. And Text Wrangler, oh, to say on both of these, both Text Wrangler and Notepad, is that they're free. There's other good, uh, good uh, software out there for this that you have to pay for, but I don't want to get into that. Text Wrangler kind of does the same thing for you. Um, it'll color code stuff, and actually, the difference is I have Text Wrangler on my computer over here. I'll just pop it in, and I guess what I could show you is how if I take a file like this and drop it on text wrangler 
just give it a second. It should show you the color coding. Let's see what this says. Oh, skip registration. And hang on, I just have to, since I'm opening up on my Mac for the first time. Um, and look at that. I mean, so this does the color coding for us as well. So, and look, and even when I highlight stuff, it kind of highlights the whole line for you. And, and furthermore, uh, it has cool integration with, let's see, close these documents. It has cool integration with CyberDuck. So what I could do with CyberDuck is if I go in CyberDuck's preferences, uh, I could set in the editor tab over here, you could set what program you want to have it open to edit documents. And if I go choose and I go in my applications, I should be able to find my text wrangler down here. And now we've kind of optimized our workflow a little bit and I'll explain what I mean. Before I was editing the document on my computer, then uploading it, then renaming it. Now since I associated Text Wrangler with that, I could click on the file and I could click edit right over here. Just give it one second. It's kind of, if you look at it down here, it's doing a little something. One. Just bear with me. I don't know, you know, if you may notice this too, um, Sometimes, this is free hosting, so by the way, you're not going to get any technical support on this from 000 hosting. Uh, but sometimes it, it seems to work faster than others, probably because we're using the free service. It's, it's a low priority. So what's cool is that now this file that's open over here is live. So if I, let me just put something new over here something new and I save it I could actually go to my live web page right here which is at that dragos19.site90.com and I refresh it see it just shows up so this is really cool and this is actually something um, new 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 this is something that helps you know kinda pick up the pace of your workflow but at the same time it could really mess you up because now you're just sitting there live and you don't even have a double because in, so, in some other scenarios you know you'd be working at, on a copy of your file locally then uploading it uh, this gives you the ability to kind of bypass that step which can uh, be a time saver but it can also you know mess you up so use it with care